It's the first meeting of party executives since the national convention. The business of the day here is to take critical decisions and resolutions that will set the pace for the party's activities over the coming months. One of the critical decisions was devolution of powers by the highest organ of the party to the National Working Committee, which means decisions can be taken without recourse to the next. Members were asked to refrain from flaring up grievances, but to make Putin the party first their watchword. It is said that when two elephants fight, the grass suffers. Similarly, when two powerful groups of politicians fight, the party suffers because it is trampled up underfoot by rich and powerful men. We cannot let this continue because it constitutes clear and obvious danger to our party. We must have the courage not to be made mouth about it. The Serbian governors are the leaders of, the, of our party in the various states. We call on all party members to abide by all extant laws, rules, and regulations and to, lead, and, and to leaders of our party to avoid imposition of candidates that cannot win popular elections. Members of the NEC also asked for due process to be followed in the party's activities leading to the primaries that will produce candidates at all levels. President Mohamed Buhari also emphasized that the NWC should work to keep the party together. Kaduna State is under a cloud. Threats of attack and annihilation of communities by ruthless terrorists are ever present. In spite of the looming threats, the Christian faithful still celebrated Easter, hoping things get better. But for members of Angwan Bulu's community in Chukun local government area, it was a dark Easter. Three teenagers abducted from their community, together with three others, were killed by terrorists and dumped in the bush. According to the village head, the terrorists cited failure of their relatives to raise their greed ransom. Angwan Bulus was invaded two days after terrorists killed and kidnapped passengers from a Kaduna bound train. We have been called that since we cannot produce that 20 million which the bandits are demanding, that they will kill three of our children. Yesterday they called us and said we should go to Expressway in Abuja Way in Dusi after Sabanga that we will see our dead body and we will see six dead bodies. They say three is our own and three is from the other side. What more disturbing is the promise made by the terrorists that they will kill three more women the next day. Yes, yesterday they tell us that if we are not able to produce that money the next day, that's in today, by 12 o'clock, they are going to kill another three set of people and it's going to be women. Bishop of the Kaduna Anglican Diocese on Easter Day appealed to the president to sit up and evolve more strategies towards protection of lives. When as a leader in civilized climb you cannot deliver, the right and the best thing to do is to bow out. There is now relative peace being enjoyed in Borno State, courtesy of the successes recorded by security operatives with many communities now liberated. Thousands of IDPs have now been resettled successfully by the state government. But the humanitarian crisis is far from over and the state government is at the forefront of alleviating the suffering of victims of the insurgency. This 100,000 households are to take home 10,000 Naira each, in addition to 5 kg bags of rice and sugar, as well as a wrapper each. Governor Babagina makes it clear that this intervention is to support the needy in this month of Ramadan, especially survivors of the 12th year conflict. Notwithstanding the successes that we have been recording in Borno State, we still have some certain challenges because many of our younger ones, as well as our able-bodied ones, cannot still have access to the agricultural lands. And that has informed the decision of the Borno State government to continue to provide humanitarian support to the most needed people in the state. The governor sounds a strong warning to the beneficiaries not to sell the items, but to make use of it for the purpose intended. I want to assure you that this administration will continue to support 
the less privileged people that are residing both in the local government areas as well as in metropolitan council. Yeah.